Hi everyone! I'm Kathy Martin. I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I just wanted to record a quick video for you because I've gotten a lot of questions about how I teach subtracting integers with my students. It can be a really difficult concept for it to stick in students' minds. So I wanted to make this quick video for you to show you exactly how I do it in my classroom. Hope you enjoy! Today is all about subtracting integers and actually the big secret and what I tell my students when we are subtracting integers is you are never subtracting. So you are never subtracting. And when I tell my students this, they're like, what? Crazy. Actually, I tell them the magic, the secret sauce in subtracting integers is three letters. K-A-O. And it stands for keep, add, opposite. Because I tell my students, you're never subtracting, you are always adding the opposite. So what the heck does this mean? Well, so in, in our first example, I'm just gonna throw in some numbers here. We have two minus negative one. Okay, so again, we are never subtracting. We're gonna keep this front number, so two is gonna stay the same. Our subtract is gonna change to an add, and then our negative one is going to change to the opposite, which is positive one. So now, our question becomes two plus one, which is three. Crazy. Okay, another example. Uh, if I have negative seven minus three, all right, well, I'm gonna keep the negative seven. My subtraction sign is going to change to a plus sign, and my three is going to change to the opposite, which is negative three. And then now, since your students are experts at adding negative numbers from yesterday, now I'm gonna ask my students, okay guys, is this the same sign rule or different? Are they same sign or different? Well, they're same sign, so what's the rule? Add and keep. So we're gonna add them up. Seven plus three is 10, and keep the negative sign. And we will continue to do so many more examples Let's see, if I have negative eight minus negative three. Okay, so my negative eight is going to, I'm gonna keep it. My subtraction sign is going to change to an add, and my negative three is gonna change to an opposite, which is positive three. So now, again, what, what are my signs? Are they same sign or different? Different, what's the rule? Different signs subtract, so I have a five, and take the sign of the greater absolute value, which is eight. Eight is negative, so my answer is negative five. And we are just gonna keep on going. I will do probably 10 to 15 examples with my students until they can tell me. Keep, add, opposite. Keep, add, opposite. And it really, really seems to help. We could even do a little bit of a bigger number. 35 minus negative 15. Okay, we are never subtracting, so we're gonna keep that 35. We're gonna change our subtraction to an add. And what's the opposite of negative 15? Positive 15? Oh look, so now we just have a simple 35 plus 15. And my answer is going to be 50. So I've created for you today an awesome how to subtract integers poster that's much prettier than my ugly board right here. But I have this hung up in my classroom for my students so that they can remember K-A-O, keep, add, opposite. Keep the first integer, change your subtraction to an addition, and change your second integer to the opposite. And I've given you two examples down here so they can follow along. Another wonderful freebie that I've also, that you will also have access to today is an amazing subtracting integers coloring page. So. There's 13 questions for your students to answer. They will figure out the correct answer and then color in this fun coloring page. My students love to color. It's relaxing and they're learning at the same time. And that's how I teach subtracting integers to my students. I have posted a bunch of resources that you could use as well in the forums. So if you wanna download them and use them in your classroom, 
feel free to go to the prealgebrateachers.com forums and download all the resources that I showed you in this video. See you soon. Bye.